Previously on Healthy Junk Food, we were on a mission to find the best box mac and cheese. We went through a whirlwind of emotions, such as shock. Oh, it's raw. Pain. No. Anger. Why would you think that this is good? Guilt. It's a stupid shape. Depression. I just want to be alone right now. Forgiveness. Hey baby, the unicorn mac and cheese, it wasn't stupid. I appreciate you saying that. Do you think maybe we can try this again? I'd like that. Okay, because I got a bunch of frozen mac and cheese, and I think Stover's gonna win. There's no way you know that. How do you know? You've never Stouffer's tried the other is the one. best. There's no way you know that as no, a No, it's gonna be the- well, you Wait, always do, you do this! Wanna fight with me? You always do this! And now we're back! To try all the frozen mac and cheese. Like Stouffer's. It's gonna be the best. We're not really sure if it's the best, because we haven't tried all of the other ones. Yes. You're right. So the rules are simple. We're gonna grab two boxes of mac and cheese that are similar, and then they're gonna try it blindfolded so we can unbiasedly tell which one is the best. I definitely have an opportunity right now to put something different in JP's mouth, other than mac and cheese. And then this thing. Vegetable pasta? Oh no. I have very low hopes for you. What is, oh no. I didn't know mac and cheese could look this bad. The cheese is bland, the noodles are crunchy, and it smells bad. This is easily the worst thing I've ever eaten. Dude, you got 60 years under your belt. You know you're doing good. Stouffer's. Shh, does it know? Oh my god, it smells... It doesn't smell like the lobster one. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it's kind of got a tough noodle taste. I can't even taste cheese. Did you cook this appropriately? Of course. Mm hmm. Are we going for the next one? Yeah. Mm. That one's more cheesy, like a roux. I don't want to like it more, but I like the second one more than the first. All right. Can well. I look now? This one looks like a burnt noodle. Yeah. There's no cheese on it. This is the false advertising. Expectation. Reality. Literally, you can't chew through it. And it even looks burnt. Like, how did it get brown? I'm so upset about this bird's eye pasta. Like, what? The veggie made stuff isn't good? That's why we need to come out with a real healthy junk food brand. I thought these were gonna be comparable because of the picture. I thought it was gonna come out all silky and glistening and milky. But that picture on there looks nothing like this. My reading's simple. Bird's eye, you're going really far down at the end. And Stouffer's, you are number one. Bird's eye at the bottom, Stouffer's at the top. Oh no, we're supposed to be going. Into the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make JP Lean Cuisine. Should I be taste testing this first? Noodles, ribbed, very sharp cheddar flavor, a little strong. Oh, pretty classic tasting. Almost just as good as Stouffer's. Let's see if JP thinks it's Stouffer's. You come in? Yeah, should I not look? You don't, you won't see anything. Okay. My turn up prices are at $505, so oh I'm sending. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You should give me a bunch of turn ups so I can make money. You are supposed to buy the turn ups. I don't have any though. Round dos. This better be better than that last batch. That's not bad. I feel the ridges in the noodle. It's a little bit more of the sour cheese. The Stouffer's is more creamy. Next, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that one's that that one's far better than the, the ridges. And you think that this one tastes better than Stouffer's? Stouffer's has got a little bit more body to the cheese. Gives it a little crust around the edges. As far as a brand goes, they're both good. Oh, that's Lean Cuisine? Both of them are Lean Cuisine. They did a good job. Right? It's 270 calories for that, and for the whole Stouffer's, it was 850. I just don't know how you can make a cheese sauce this like mm -hmm. cheesy be low calorie. Lean cuisine. Right? I bet you I, I bet you Stouffer's owns lean cuisine. <laughs> There's no way. Yellow lean. You're going right under Stouffer's. White lean? Under that. I'm gonna put yellow lean above Stouffer's. The white cheddar, I'm gonna put it underneath Stouffer's because there's just something sour tasting in the cheese sauce and I don't really like that. 
Oh no, we're not doing that. I can't believe this was even purchased. All right, I'm gonna go with Amy's and I'm gonna go with this chow, creamy chow. And uh, I'm gonna throw a little twist later on. A few things I didn't realize until inspecting this closer. Chow is a vegan creamery and it's a mac and cheese. Amy's. I can't! Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reheat this one and reheat this one because I still think this one's better and I want Julia to agree with me. That's that. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Wet and milky. <sighs> That's what they call me. Wet and milky. And open up, here's the number two. What do you think? Which one is? The better one's the second one I had. You're freaking me out, what are you doing? Can I take this off? <laughs> are, are you feeding me the same thing we already made? <laughs> you are. You like Stouffer's better. You did, okay, you're right. I'm gonna agree to disagree. I'm sorry for being mad at you. Did you make other food? Yeah. Oh my god. This is the real mac and cheese. Um, I didn't say a lot, but I can play B-roll of my reactions. And I'm curious to see what Julia's will be. Oh. 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 I just don't know what it is. <laughs> it is making my mind go crazy. Like hits me in the nasal cavity. Ready for number two? No. The noodles are a little hard. The cheese sauce is a little bit thicker. A little bit of a better flavor. Number two wins. Yes, it's the one that's a cheddar-y one that probably tastes more like Stouffer. And then this one was chow. It's vegan. It's like flour wanted to be cheese. Amy's is going under yellow lean. Chow above bird's eye. Chow is gonna go right above. Bird's eye. And Amy's is gonna go right above yellow lean. So you think Amy's is better than Stouffer's? I don't know, maybe I should give me that. Stouffer's back for a second. Stouffer's, man. Like, Stouffer's is good, You right? want to know why? It not only gives it that good level of like cheesiness with the noodle. Baked mac and cheese. Exactly, the baked mac and cheese crusties. Stouffer's, you're going all the way to the top. Shut up, should I have put it at the top? These ones seem comparable. Oh my gosh, that's smoking. Gosh, it smells good. He's gonna know just by the smell. This one right here. Good flavor. Okay, if JP doesn't think one of these are better than Stouffer's, I'd be surprised. These kind of taste like restaurant quality, almost homemade. John Paulathan, come here, Paul Paul. It smells really good. That's really good. Who to thunk adding meat to something completely elevates it. I think it might be white cheddar. You're getting good at this. <laughs> These are probably expensive though. I don't know. It's worth the price. Here it comes. I don't even know what I put in my mouth. Is that meatloaf? It almost tastes spicy. It is. Like now seeing actually helps. It's good, right? It's good if you like buffalo mac and cheese. Who makes of our craft? <laughs> that is incredible. And I did know it was white. Wow. You knew. It's got like a white taste now that I can't escape it now. I would eat all of this right now if I didn't have to make some more. Would you devour it? Mm-hmm. I really like this one the best, the white cheddar. And then I'm gonna put the buffalo chicken right underneath that, devour buffalo. Well, Stouffer's is obviously number one. And then I'm gonna go with white cheddar bacon. Buffalo mac under white lean. I don't know if anything's gonna be devour other than Stouffer's. We got more. Oh my goodness. That's so intense. Am I the first to realize that love spelled backwards is evil? Why would you want your brand to be evil? Evil and bleak. This entire room smells like truffle now, so I think Julia's gonna be able to figure this one out. Quick prediction. The 
truffle one, she's gonna claim that she likes better because it's got truffle. However, she's lying to herself. Come on, Blake, I'm rooting for you. Oh, turn it on, come on, my God. All right, open Can up. Can I smell it? No. Oh. Is that the truffle one? I don't hate that. JP's already winning on predictions. This is so careful. I don't know. I think I like the truffle one better than the second one, but they both taste kind of okay. I guess I was just excited that this was good. Because you were surprised it was good? It's good. It's definitely better than that. I choose truffle over this. <gasps> oh! Grab the list! White truffle is gonna go above white lean, and white Blake is gonna go under white lean. Truffle, you're below Buffalo Mac. Blake above white cheddar bacon. Was it easy to make too? You didn't even have to pierce the, the top of the film. You just throw it in there. You don't even have to stir it. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Shapes. We all know JP loves them. And the pulled pork mac and cheese, also real pork. It's okay. Kinda tastes like bland though. Is that supposed to, does that look good? <laughs> Ooh, hot. Tastes okay. For being looking kinda weird. It's cheesy, but it's porky. Let's grab JP in here. Paulathan! You wanna eat a noodle? <laughs> Did you make me shapes? <laughs> Nah, that's like Blando cheese again. Stupid shape. <laughs> it's just, it, it actually kind of tastes like flour and water. Coming up with the next one, chugga chugga. <laughs> Is it bad? I felt like I just ate barbecue. <laughs> Does this say mac and cheese on the box? Yeah. This is like hamburger helper. And you don't like these shapes? No, it's <laughs> awful. They're really healthy for kids. There's pureed carrots. I'm gonna put shapes underneath chow, and I'm gonna put the pulled pork mac and cheese underneath white blakes. I, I don't need it. I would eat vegan over shapes, and the pulled pork I would just get again. Will the lobster one be the best? Ooh, this is supposed to be partially thawed. Ooh, <laughs> looks like crab cake. I think there's noodles in this. It's made by some grandma. It's super greasy, which is awesome. A lot of like red stuff in it. It's really, really, there's nothing wrong with it right now. I just taste like a good mac and cheese. Give me some. I get the lobster feel 100%. Definitely the tastiest. Can't compare, it's too good. This one's the number two. Really? Well, once again, our lists are different and it's okay. There's more. It's never gonna end. We're not done, there's still more. No, we're done. There's two more. We're done, JP. We did it up. It's Hormel versus Bob Evans. Isn't Bob Evans a gas station? Oh no, that's that other one that you like to go to and get coffee at. What's it called? Bill Evans, Bob Evans. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. <laughs> Oh, oh, I actually really like that. Really? I think. You like that. I'm hung. Maybe I'm just hungry. Let me try the other one. I think I like that one. It's creamier. Oh. I like them both. Which one wins? This one or that one? The second one. Which one is it? It's Bob Evans. It's got more flavor. It looked like I didn't enjoy it, but that's only because I didn't microwave them enough. <gasps> Bob Evans, you're going under Blake. Hormel's going under Truffle. Hormel's gonna go right under Truffle. I'm gonna put Bobby Boy on the top. She's just eating it because she's hungry. And it's like two days later. And she forgot how good Stouffer's taste. True, different shirt, different day. All right, that's my list on the screen. That's Julia's. Whose list are you more like? Vote on the poll. And also, what junk food at the grocery store do you want us to compare next? Julia. Yes. Food isn't subjective. It's either good or it's not. This, our lists are different, our lists are always different, our opinions are always different. No, you're wrong. No, but I'm, it's not about being wrong or right, it's about being You're lying. Why would I lie? I don't believe you. 